YouTube. What's up? It's your girl McCarr from Cougar's Closet. And today I have a sizzling hot topic. Well, at least I thought it was sizzling hot. Um, today's topic is called, Should Women Propose to Men? And so I decided to do this video because within the last uh, couple of years or whatever, um, I have seen this trend going on over the internet about um, women that are proposing to men. Uh, I've seen it a couple of times, and the first couple of times that i seen it, I really didn't think much about it. I just thought it was a joke or just, I don't know, I, I, I really just didn't pay any attention, and it uh, kind of just went over my head. But um, lately here, I've noticed, you know, uh, within the last year or so, uh, this is really starting to become a trend. And I'm starting to notice it more and more on the internet. Have you guys been noticing this on the internet? Have you guys been seeing women get down on their knees uh, with a ring proposing uh, to their soon-to-be's? Because I have, so I said, well, uh, let me go ahead and do something about this. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little topic to cover. Um. Now, regarding this topic, a lot of people uh, had a lot of different things to say. Of course, you know, they would, uh, something like that, something that's uh, unnormal, uh, something that's odd, you know, so I'm pretty sure uh, people will uh, have a lot different uh, things to say about this or whatever. So, uh, I started kind of uh, reading up on the topic and following it, you know, and um. I ran across a couple of interesting topics, and um, one of the topics that I had uh, read across, um, like I said, this is called Should a Woman Propose to Her Man? So I had ran across this interesting topic, and there's this uh, professional matchmaker, and her name is uh, Michelle Frank Hale, and um. I would like to quote uh, what Michelle Frankel said about um, women proposing to their men. Now, let me quote this. Um, this is something that I read. She said, this new trend is all about gender equality. If a woman wants something in the workplace, she goes after it. So therefore, if she wants to live with her man, why wouldn't she go after uh, that proposal? Now, um, I want to put uh, two, perspe two perspectives on this. Now, this is something to look at. Now, perspective one, uh, if you look at this from a biblical standpoint, then, of course, we're going to get uh, the answer to be no. Uh, no, a woman shouldn't propose to a man because the Bible says uh, that he who finds a wife finds good thing, right? So in that aspect uh, of looking at it, then of course the answer is going to be no, uh, women shouldn't be out here proposing to men. Now, uh, let's look at uh, perspective two. And perspective two is uh, living in today's world, today's society, 2021, and, and going ahead, 2022, 2023, 2024, 20, you know, uh, 25, and all of this, Karen, on. Um, if you want to look at it from that perspective, I'd say uh, we shouldn't be shocked uh, about anything uh, that we see anymore. Um now, I can't tell you exactly how to feel, but I can say that you should not be shocked about anything um, that you see anymore. Um, you're going to see a lot of things uh, before it's all over with. And, and, and it boils down to this. Um, are you going to make the decision to normalize uh, this stuff that you are seeing in your head? That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, you accepting or rejecting what you consider to be normal or what you consider uh, not to be normal. You know, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of things uh, in this world 
that's going to be different, that's going to be out of place, that's going to be weird, that's going to be odd. You know, uh, are you going to normalize it? That That's basically what it boils down to. Now, there have been a lot of men on social media um, expressing their intake on how they feel about this topic, about uh, women proposing to men. And um, on this, you know, uh, there was a lot of furious men. Um, a lot of men are saying uh, that's the man's job uh, to propose to the woman, that, that the woman is taking the fun out of it. Um, claiming that, you know, women that do this type of stuff, you know, uh, has very, uh, low self-esteem about herself. She doesn't think, uh, much about herself. They were wanting to know, uh, questions as, uh, such as what has the world come to, you know, there, there was a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, angry men, um, about this. They were saying, that uh, it's, it's so far from traditional that it's a crying shame, that it's untraditional. But then uh, there were doctors and different people that I read about saying most marriages, uh, you know, p women are uh, waiting to get proposed to and, and it might not happen because you really only see that on TV and you really only uh, see that on, in movies that it's, it's more tabooish than anything. So uh, here at Cougar's Closet, I even took it a step further um, by me listening to what some of the men were saying that were totally against it, that were totally upset, that wanted to know uh, what the world had come to. I even took it a step farther to uh, investigate uh, some of the men that had been proposed to by women. Some of the men that had accepted the offers, uh, uh, some of the men that said yes and married these women, I went and I wanted to know uh, what they what they thought about it. How how did it make them feel? And I was shocked to find out, y'all. I was shocked to find this out. A lot of the men were ecstatic. Uh, a lot of the men were happy. Uh, there were even some men crying. Um, there were different men that said, you know, they had been dating uh, this woman for years and years and years. Uh, it wasn't under their radar. But since she brought it up, you know, um, they went ahead and went with it. There were some uh, males on there saying that... Uh, they were with these women and they were doing everything uh, that a married couple uh, do. They had the kids. Uh, they were shacked up together. You know, uh, only thing was missing uh, was the marriage proposal. But he, he didn't feel like he needed to propose because he was content. Uh, and he thought everything was good. And he thought he could get another decade out of her before he proposed. You know, but since she went ahead and proposed to him, he just thought, why not? There were men boohooing. Uh, there were some men saying that um, their wives had proposed to them on Facebook and had proposed to them uh, on Instagram. And people were laughing about them and talking about them and butchering them. But uh, he said that he didn't care about that because uh, they were so long gone from trying to impress other people that that didn't matter. But saying that the people that cared about them, uh, the people that were truly in their circle as far as friends, uh, as far as loved ones, they really supported them and the support was overwhelming. So um, I, I was shocked about uh, some of the answers I received. Because uh, on the flip side of this, y'all, I have been on Facebook or Instagram or uh, different parts, YouTube, social media, and I have seen uh, women propose to their men out at the mall and the men got mad and walked off or uh, they put a will you marry me up sign and he kicked it out of her hand and he felt embarrassed and uh, 
he didn't want to, he wanted to know how she could do something like that uh, in front of everybody. You know, I, I've seen uh, incidents uh, where these proposals from a woman to a man didn't turn out so good. So uh, to read some of this stuff and got uh, the results that I got, I was I was shocked. I have to say so myself. Um, I went further and read more articles and more articles were saying that a lot of more women should be proposing, uh, to their men. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. To their men or to their boyfriends. And, and, and um, they're saying there's nothing wrong, uh, with proposing to your man. The only thing they're saying, um, about a woman proposing to her man that this really needs to be uh, thought out deeply and that she really, really needs to know uh, within our hearts of hearts is this is who she could really uh, see herself with uh, for the rest of her life. Uh, she needs to be sure uh, this is who uh, she wants to marry and she has no more desires uh, for another man, or she has, uh, no more desires to do, uh, things, uh, that a single woman would do. So, um, now here at Cougar's Closet, uh, let me put my two cent in for what it's worth. I don't know if that means anything. Yeah, I'm kind of going over my notes just to make sure that I didn't leave anything out and I hadn't because I'm going on. But um, here at Cougar's Closet, let me put my two cents in for what it's worth if I may. Now, uh, and and like I said, y'all, this, this is going to be a mixed bag. This ain't no right or wrong answers. There's different opinions. There's different avenues. Uh, there's different everything's to to get to this one place that we're going. So so let me say this here about uh, my personal experiences. Now, uh, whenever I dated someone, um, I never proposed to a guy, but I always, in the rim of dating, you know, somewhere, um, put it out there that my goal was to be married or whether he asked me, you know, where could I see myself, you know, in the next 10 or 15 years or what am I wanting? Um, I always put it out there that my uh, ultimate target that I was aiming for, uh, my ultimate goal uh, was to be married. And, and the reason why I always uh, put that out there is because uh I wanted to make sure uh, I wasn't wasting my time uh, with whoever this person that I was dating or, or to find out, you know, uh, if we were even compatible, uh, even if we wanted um, some of the same things, if, if, I, if I was even around uh, people likewise. Now, I know that that didn't mean that we were going to get off, go off and get married and run off into the sunset. But just the fact that I was getting myself more around people um, that was in the area uh, of looking for the same things uh, that I was looking for and just knowing, you know, that there could be a possibility of marriage, you know, um, I, I, did, I didn't want to get with anybody, you know, and um, I'm thinking more uh, for life and he's thinking more of for tonight. So, um. Once I found out, you know, uh, that we weren't even on the same page, it was more easier, you know, for me to get up and disconnect and, and, and go where I was going and let him go on. Because if he was looking for, you know, something, you know, just for the night or just for the weekend or a few times and be done, well, I already had came to that conclusion that uh, that wasn't what I was looking for. So I didn't want to spread myself, you know going that type of way, I, I always knew the concept, you know, that um, somebody was going to get hurt here and it was going to be me. You know, uh, a lot of times where uh, women mess up is they think they can change a man's mind. Oh, uh, I'm going to change his mind. I'm going to show him some, you know, or I'm going to get him, you know, before it's all over, I'm going to have him. Not understanding 
that men uh, already know before they come in uh, what they're looking for. They're not confused. They already have you pretty much marked as if you are going to be the hot flame. Uh, if you are wifey material, uh, if you are something that, uh, they can take home to mother, if you just something they, uh, randomly come through and get with here and now and then see th there won't be any changing his mind. But, you know, I, I'm a woman, I've been there, and I've done that where I thought uh, I could change a man's mind. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to do it so good to where uh, I'm going to link him in, not understanding the concept that he already had me marked uh, before I even got in. Not understanding, you know, that um, I was just something to have fun with. You know, I wasn't something that he seen uh, long term, you know, so I, I just feel like, you know, um, it, it, if women could kind of grasp that concept uh, before they go in dealing with men, then it would kind of alleviate some of these things, you know, that they think they are headed for. And then come to find out that they're back in square one, that they they wasn't heading anywhere to begin with, because uh, when it's all said and done, uh, the man ain't going to do nothing but turn around and tell you, I told you I wasn't looking for anything serious. I told you um, I was just wanting to have fun. So so it, it, it's getting to the point where we, we better start listening uh, to what people saying b instead of thinking we could change their mind. And if they saying something that we don't like, um, then we need to be saddling up our horses, clicking our boots, and, and, and cracking the whip, uh, going going down the road looking for what we want, right? You know, uh, we have to start listening. So, as far as, um, I feel like this personally, as far as me proposing to a man, I'm going to say no. And, uh, you know, if, if women are proposing uh, to men, you know, I, I don't have any hangups about that. Like I said, nothing shocks me anymore, uh, especially these days and times. I'm not shocked by anything anymore. But uh, for me personally, I'm going to say I always put it out there to let him know that that was my goal. But as far as me getting on one knee and coming with the ring and asking him to marry me and going to his family and getting it cleared and all that, I'm going to say no for me. And, and the reason why I, I want to say no is for two reasons. One is because I have been taught uh, from a biblical standpoint that that's not what you do, uh, that that's the man's job to propose to a woman. You know, and if something is wired in your mind all your life, you know, uh, that, that's just what you are used to, you know. Now, these baby boomers and new agers that are coming, you know, uh, they might think I'm crazy, you know, because they do things totally different from how I do them or, or ladies in my generation uh, do them. I, I understand their standpoint uh, as well as they understand mine, you know. But that's one of the reasons that I would say no that I wouldn't propose to a man because just the way that uh, I have been wired, you know, I'm 43 years old. So, you know, I'm kind of going towards uh, the mature age. So that's just not what was, was taught to us, you know, and, and two, uh, I'm going to say no, that I wouldn't propose to him. And the reason why I probably wouldn't propose to him is because, uh, what if I'm really not his type and I propose to him uh, and he takes me up on my offer? Uh, why is he taking me up on my offer? Is it a matter of convenience? Uh, is it a matter of him doing uh, what he feels or what his parents have instilled in him uh, is right? If, if, you're, if you're with a woman and you make a baby, you marry her, you know, uh, 
if you doing X, Y, and Z with her, then you marry her. A lot of people have went off and got married because uh, their parents have told them this. If you get somebody pregnant, then you're supposed to marry them and take care of them. And then later up, end up in a divorce, you know, uh, going by their parents' uh, mode, just being miserable because uh, they were trying to keep uh, their family happy, trying to keep their family tradition happy, trying to stick by that word, you know, when maybe all along, you know, uh, maybe uh, in the midst of having fun, a baby came out that way. The baby wasn't made out of love. The baby was made out of fun, you know. So I'd rather for a man to propose to me because that way I know he has no doubt in his mind one, uh, that he wants me to be his wife. Uh, uh, two, he searched the world over and he just can't find anybody else like me. Uh, he likes the way I look. Uh, nobody can cook for him like I can. Uh, nobody can do that one thing for him like I can. You know what I mean? Uh, most of the time, and I'm not going to say most, but I will say about 75 or 80 percent of the time, you know, if a man uh, asks a woman uh, to marry him, he's pretty sure uh, this is who he wants to be with. You know, so 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 what if I ask him uh, to marry me and he just says yes, based on these principles that he thinks uh, he's supposed to be doing the right thing or he wants to do the right thing. And, but, but, but then in the back of his mind, uh, he's, he's really not content y'all. He's still roaming around because he really didn't get his top pick of the litter. You know, sometimes, uh, men will kick it with you for 12 and 14 years, uh, just for the convenience, uh, just because you're something to do, uh, just because you're fun, just because uh, something that they really uh, like hasn't come along yet, you know? And so uh, I don't want to find myself in that boat. If I married, uh, I want it to be because I am my husband's fantasy. You know what I mean? So, um... I'm not going to hold you guys long. I just want to know, uh, what did you guys or what do you guys think about this topic here tonight that I have struck? Should women uh, propose to men? Is, is that normal? Is that a normal thing to do uh, in these uh, days and age? Uh, do you find it untraditional? Um some women said that it was no different, you know, uh, if they bought their man a watch and, and put it on his hand, you know, uh, what, what makes you feel so different after you propose, you know, with, with me, I, I think it would kind of make me feel, uh, rare and odd because I really don't know where his feelings are. But then again, I guess, uh, you could say you kind of do know where his feelings are because if he doesn't want you like that, he won't accept your proposal, right? So so that's what I'm saying, y'all. There, there's multiple ways to look at this. Uh, I just want to know uh, what you all thought about it. So uh, please like, uh, please share, please subscribe, and, and comments below. Let's get this thing cranky, y'all. Cougar's Closet. Mwah.